I grew up in Montreal and we had this great Christmas tradition in our house and we would have this wonderful big Christmas breakfast. And of course as a kid, all I wanted to do was get at the tree and you know, get at all the gifts. So we made a rule in our house that said we were allowed to open one gift before our big breakfast. So I was about eight years old and I went down to that tree and I looked around, all the presents that were there waiting, looking for the ones that had my name on it. Then. I, go, I knew I could only open one of them. Which one would it be? It was killing me. I had to make that right decision because that gift was going to last me about an hour. I had to play with it through breakfast. So I would choose carefully. Finally, I saw one, spied it, picked it up, held it in my hands. Thought maybe it was a book. And I like to read as a kid, so I thought this would be a good thing that could kill some time before we get out at, at all the other gifts. So I sat there and I said, this is the one. Sat down, carefully unwrapped it. And there it was, as an eight-year-old, right before my eyes. Held it up. It was the biography of Adolf Hitler. Then I looked at it and thought, I can't figure out why my parents would have given me this. And there across the room, I saw my 17-year-old brother opening up his gift. It was a book of lifesavers. We looked at each other and realized a serious mistake had been made. However, my brother liked the lifesavers, and he said I could keep the biography of Adolf Hitler. Still haven't read it to this day.